Good afternoon, beautiful people. Welcome back once again to my channel. It is next to Rwanda. Then another guy here. I think like a lot of you guys know this guy because we've been on my video for almost a week. He is the born child. Oh, the born child. out loud. Yeah, man. OC the born child. Yeah. Ugandan YouTuber, big guy. Please like show him love on YouTube. Please subscribe to his YouTube channel. Share his content, he got a lot of videos in Rwanda, almost 60 men. He shoot a I lot have of videos. And I'm inviting Nexo over here to come to my country. I'll be down to show him from A to Z, left, right, and center. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm humbled, guys. I want to visit Uganda too. So if you are living in Uganda, make sure that your boy Nexo Rwanda will be in Uganda for like a few months coming. So actually, today, I want to talk about this thing. It's the guy who gave me an idea of doing this video. Uh, some of the things that you can do in Rwanda and then you got arrested. Yeah. Actually, this is very important. Before you come to Rwanda, like I came, you need to know this. So that you don't make probably the same mistakes so many people yeah. have done and they, were, they found themselves in trouble. Yeah. Exactly. And today these guys is going to ask me some questions of the thing that you can do in Kigali and then you got arrested and because I'm a Roko, I'm a Rwandan, I'm Rwandan and I've been living in Kigali for almost like three years and know a lot of stuff about my city Kigali so I can be ready to answer all the questions. Well like uh, thank you so much Nixo first and foremost and thank you so much all the viewers out there yes, for sure. the yes. endless support all the time yeah now like I'll start with the should I say the minor ones but there isn't anything like minor if it can get you into trouble yeah. the extent of being to, to 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 be arrested yeah and please forgive us this is a little disclaimer we are not political. Exactly. We are just trying to enlight, throw in light here and there to help yeah. someone who is looking forward to travel to Rwanda. Basically, those that do not stay here. Because myself, I've found so many things that are a shocker to me. Like, for example, what happens if I don't wear a mask? Yeah. Actually, you know, everyone knows that we are still in the pandemic. You are still like fighting with uh, this pandemic so we can uh, go back to normal life uh, so like Rwanda as an African country and as a strict country we are doing well in fighting this COVID so when you come to Rwanda you need to know exactly that wearing a mask is a mask in all public areas or any places where you can meet other people mm. it's a must when you go to the, ma the market when you go to those shopping malls when you go to public buses and everything you need to have mask even if you are driving your private car you need to have your mask, mask. if the police or Let other me you something. Yeah. it is funny that you find people someone is driving alone in the car and yeah. they have masks on when that was imposed in my country yeah one of the members of parliament yeah. brought an example and said it is like telling him yeah to go to bed yeah. with a protector, like with a condom on, <laughs> it is not going to sleep with a lady. <laughs> so really, I don't know, but, but I think they did that to make it like very straightforward yeah. for people not to relax, that maybe in some spaces you can put on the mask, some spaces yeah. you cannot, because where they've done like that, people yeah. are relaxed, people are like sure. negligent. So, exactly. Yeah. So, and also like when a police or other government agencies catch you without wearing a mask or wearing a mask in a bathroom, halfway, yeah. Yeah, halfway, they take you to the stadium, you spend there 24 hours teach, teaching you about the effects of COVID and everything and then they charge you 10,000 one and flanks or maybe $10 or maybe $11 yeah. for those people yeah. who are using dollars. Yeah. Alright, now. I have been very, very keen. Guys, Kigali is clean. Exactly. Like, clean, not just clean, it's super clean. Sure. We all know it is the, the cleanest city 
yeah. in Africa, if we are not mistaken. Or if we are mistaken, come in the comment section and yeah. let us know where or what is the fact. Now, what if I throw a polythene yeah. or a piece of paper on the street and somebody sees me or if a police sees me? Like, what happens in that instance? Yeah, actually Rwanda is some of the African countries who ban those uh, plastic bags and everything. Now we are using paper bags, so it's easy, like, uh, those are disposal stuffs, that, that's what we are using. So yeah. when a police catch you, or like you are throwing like some polythene bags on the street or somewhere, when a police catch you, it's based on the place where you are throw it, yeah. so, but the fine is from 5,100 francs or six dollars yeah. to up to a hundred dollars or a hundred thousand Rwandan francs. Mind you, five thousand is the biggest note in, in Rwanda. Rwanda exactly. So just get an idea of what it means to be <laughs> fined the biggest note in that country. Exactly. Pretty quick, let me take you, brother. I am a content creator. Yeah. What happens if I fly a drone? in areas for example lake kivu because yeah. i want those beautiful shots like what is it like with flying drones what do i do or what do i not do with the drones yeah so actually i want even like to update the, the people actually to giving them the some information about flying drone in rwanda because it's not a road sometimes and it's a road for the people who have license mm -hmm. actually when you want to fly a drone if you are a foreigner you need to ask permission from a rwanda aviation authority before one month before, before you come before you come one month yeah, before yeah. you come in rwanda and uh when they give you that permission you are not allowed to shoot to fly a drone on you know, those uh, military camps or military base uh you are not allowed to, to those government ag agencies breedings and some stuff so before coming to Rwanda, if you want to fly a drone, make sure that you got your license. After getting your license, they will give you like the paper that gives you. The, it has like all infra, like uh, all areas areas where you can you can't fly, fly drone. Okay. Yeah, the no fly. fly zone. Yeah, exactly. No fly zone. Yeah, yeah that's all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, pretty quick. Yeah. I was in town doing that walk tour. Yeah. And I was very observant. I noticed. Not so many people, or actually not single person I yeah, saw yeah. holding hands. Does that mean Rwandanese are not romantic? Or there is some kind of restriction apparently during this pandemic yeah. that people are not holding hands? Hey, what happens if I'm caught holding hands, trying to be romantic to my girlfriend or yeah. wife in Rwanda? Actually, before it was allowed, before the pan pandemic, it was allowed to hug your wife, to kiss your wife and everything. But now it's banned. If you are coming to Rwanda, make sure that you don't kiss or hug your wife on the street, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do it at your home or everything. But because of COVID, Rwanda is trying to tell the people that you need to maintain social distance. Mm. So if you are on the street, you need to ma maintain that you have like one meter or two meters between you and the other person yeah. so it can maintain social distance so actually the, the, the government has decided that you don't need to please maintain a social distance so you don't need to hug somebody or to take a hand on mm -hmm. each other on the street and everything mm -hmm. and even if you are like your woman or everything so when you are coming to Rwanda we need to make sure that it's not a road to shake like to shake hands or to hug someone in the street on a public places and everything Go and do it in your home, so no kiss. I say what? No kiss. <laughs> I take you back. That, is, yeah. that was a reverse sound. Yeah. To the masks. Like when or which circumstances yeah. can I take off a mask in public? Like when can an officer maybe find yeah. me without a mask? And that is understandable. Like such that people know that yeah. okay, maybe when you're doing this or this, yeah. it's okay, you can take off a mask. A little bit, it will yeah. be understandable because someone will be like, Damn, I don't have put off a mask like all day. Yeah. yeah, actually, the only place where you can uh, remove your mask is the, the time that if you have something to drink, maybe you have a juice, maybe you have a, a water, or maybe you have a wine. But I don't think that you can have wine on the street because, <laughs> like, the pubs are, are like the pubs, the bars, and everything is closed in Rwanda, so we don't drink beer unless you drink it at your home. Yeah. Drinking at home is a lot. 
So it's uh, the only place where you are allowed to to remove your mask is uh, the time that you are drinking something or maybe you are running doing sports. Oh, yeah. So that place you are allowed to remove your mask, but when you finish it, please wear your mask wear. So pro uh, to simplify it, if you want not to wear a mask in Rwanda, just run around like yeah. a, just run around the town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> drinking so yeah. it's gonna take you maybe f buying like five bottles of water a day <laughs> yeah. in order to run the city without yeah. mask now this one we have to emphasize specifically because yeah. we are just ordinary citizens trying to discuss here and there and yeah, the sure. aim of this video is to enlighten yeah you know in my country where i come from we actually in the in the media on yeah. youtube everywhere yeah like the media houses can draw cartoons of the president yeah, yeah. like we can do anything with our president yeah yeah sure i know someone like me can come from a country like my country yeah and come like how is it in rwanda yeah now that you're a rwandan do you guys make fun jokes of the honorables in your yes. country yes. or let's say the president is it allowed or not allowed such that someone comes yeah. and they know their limits let's draw yeah. that line actually in my opinion or based on my experience i never see anyone like maybe doing those like cartoons and those funny jokes about the president yeah but what i saw is that sometimes on the twitter they can go there and then bring back like, a jokes or something with yeah. the president yeah. but not too much you see sometimes you are doing something that can like ruin the image of someone or yeah. like the reputation of someone that that that, that one i think is not a road but bring like a jokes on twitter and social media you can do that but but reasonable jokes. reasonable jokes yeah, yeah that's what okay, i think yeah okay. exactly all right i think you guys can come in the comment section sure. and tell us like specifically what you want to know yeah yeah but off head right now um, or oh, I'm out of question. Exactly. Thank so you for we, we actually, yeah, we actually like thank you enough. Okay, we don't have like anything to thank you enough because you've been here for us. You are supporting us every day. Please keep watching this video. Keep supporting us. Share our video. Uh, do like do a thumbs up. Show us some love. We are still here. Like. Please go in the comment section, please give us any kind of video that you want to see about video Rwanda, video, yeah. the video that we want to do, and then we'll come back soon. Thank you so much. We appreciate your love and support. Appreciate.